morning to you all. Uh, I'm also a native, and I have the, the opportunity to say that I'm also I'm from Algarve directly. Although I work in Lisbon, I commute all the all the weeks to to from Lisbon to Algarve. I'm coming here with uh, Claudio, who is our uh, head of our uh, rep office in uh, London, um, basically to give you three main ideas. First, why is uh, our bank, the biggest bank in Portugal, uh, reliable and trustworthy, and uh, as you will see with experience. Second, to also to let you know what kind of mortgages, what kind of finance we have to support any investment if you want to use that uh, mortgage. And finally, we can, uh, we'd like to tell you what our office, our rep office here in London can help. Many things can be deal and uh, treated here directly in London uh, without the need to go uh, to, to Portugal, even to send it. But Claudio will talk about that later. I'm just going to be very brief on the, um, regarding CGD. So basically, um, we have a nice course in Algarve, actually. Uh, just to give you an idea, I'm not going to detail, we are in the four continents of the world, okay? Especially on the Portuguese-speaking countries, which is natural. Uh, and in Europe we have, uh, besides Portugal, which is our main activity, we have a lot of uh, rep offices that basically facilitate all the communication with the customers. Uh, we also in China, in Macau, and, uh, and so on. I'm not going to detail. For you to have a, a photo, okay, of what is Kaisha, what it represents. So we are uh, the market leader in deposits, we are the market leader in the total loans, and it's not a great thing here, but we are also the market leader in capital, okay, in terms of capital on tier one. So as you can see, we are 100% ownership, but as by mandate by ECB, we have to be managed according to market rules, and the government cannot intervene uh, in, a, in, a, in the policies in the day today. I will explain to you, we are absolutely um, uh, regulated by ECB because we are a systematic bank, we decide uh, to, to request the, the, the national economy. So just very quickly to, for, to, to see uh, CCD in terms of capital, you can see over there, I don't know, this is a point probably on the circle, 19.5, so in terms of security, in terms of non-performing loans, in terms of cost income, you can see that compared with all the European banks, we are in a very favorable position and a very secure position. And this is also visible in terms of our ratings. We are investment grade by the three raters that we work with. Okay. Uh, also with the, the, the stress test, so this is just for you to get an idea what kind of bank you're talking about, what kind of this can be. Okay. So we also pass the, the, the stress tests with the very good notes, uh, meaning that we continue to be very solid, even the bank have recognized. I'm not going to bore you with this. Just want to know that with cash, you will be in probably one of the safest banks uh, in Portugal and uh, in Europe also. Okay, so uh, in terms of sustainability, there are several activities. We already have also um, a rating system so that we can invest more and support more the companies that are in transition and the others uh, that, uh, that are already uh, following these laws. I'm not going to be these on the details, I just would like to, before I pass to the part more interesting to Claudio, that is the, the, the mortgage, uh, the mortgage uh, solutions that we have, I just want you to know that when you work with Kasha, you are working with a bank that is uh, committed to the current and actual policies in Europe and uh, in ECB regarding money laundering, uh, regarding supervision, all of that. Okay, so it's not uh, uh, just a uh, a small, a small, or a, a disappointed bank. So now, Claudio, I will pass to Claudio that will go with the solutions company. Claudio, that is our office manager here. So I think he's the person that you will find more in the I was about to say good morning, but uh, good afternoon. <laughs> so um, I would like to, uh, to start by thanking uh, Christina. Uh, we met each other about five years ago, <laughs> and since first we met, uh, she invited us to be here, and for some reason, for one reason or, or another, that was not possible until today. Um, getting into the mortgage uh, uh, matters, uh, which uh, is the tip that brought us here. Uh, Kasha has uh, a wide range of solutions, of mortgage solutions, 
uh, we have some very specific, some uh, very oriented solutions like uh, modular houses or like that combined solution to uh, purchase the land plot and uh, building the house afterwards, uh, all in one operation. But uh, we will concentrate in the most common uh, mortgage products we have, that uh, which uh, 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 itself have some flexibility. Um, they have, of course, uh, some some strict guidelines, but uh, there are always room some negotiation. So we'll start for, uh, by um, uh, concentrating on the uh, our standing offer, our, our standard offer, um, and we will highlight the, 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 the main aspects of the of the, the <coughs> mortgage product. Uh, this is the, this uh, this uh, solution. Um, uh, it's uh, uh, oriented to uh, acquisition, construction, and refurbishing works on permanent, permanent or secondary houses. Um, you will see that there is a, a slight difference of conditions, but uh, mainly uh, I would like to highlight that uh, uh, mortgages can have a maximum of uh, 40 years term, depending on the age of the oldest applicant. Um, so uh, this applies to uh, mortgages up to 200,000 euros. Um, and uh, specifically for uh, permanent housing. Um, in this case, uh, if the oldest applicant is uh, 30 years old um, or less, the mortgage may have a maximum of 40 years. Uh, if the person's uh, age uh, is between uh, 30 years old and 40, uh, 35 years old, the total term may be up to 37 years. And uh, above uh, 35 years old, uh, the term uh, maximum term will be uh, uh, 35 years. Uh, again, this applies to mortgages uh, for permanent housing um, under 200,000 euros. Um, if the mortgage uh, is uh, beyond to, to 100,000 euros, the, the maximum term will be always 35 years. Uh, all these criteria have a cap. Uh, which is the, uh, the, the age of 75 years old um, for the oldest applicants, okay? So this is in, in, in I was referring to the, the, the maximum terms, okay? So then, um, about mortgage amount. Uh, once again, uh, we are speaking on a permanent home. Maximum uh, the mortgage can uh, can be of a maximum ninety percent of the appraised value of the, uh, of the property, uh, we, uh, and or up to ninety percent uh, uh, of the purchase value. Um, perhaps it's best to, to give you an example. So let's say uh, the asking price is one million euros. And the property is valued in uh, at one million and fifty thousand euros. Uh, so the the valuation um, is um, uh, over the the asking price. So the amount, uh, the maximum amount on mortgage will be ninety percent, which means uh, nine hundred thousand euros. But the other way around, uh, if the asking price still is uh, one million euros and the property is valued uh, under that value, for instance, uh, 950,000 euros, um, uh, the maximum amount will be 90% of this value, which means 855,000 uh, 55, euros. Uh, when it comes to secondary homes, these percentages are different. Uh, the, the maximum am amount is 80%. And um, uh, on um, mortgages uh, for purchasing, uh, building, or refurbishing uh, houses um, to, to rent, um, buy to rent mortgage, uh, the maximum amount is 75% of the appraised value uh, with the limit of 80% of the purchase price. In short, uh, as I said in the beginning, the maximum, 
the maximum amount uh, is always the lowest between the appraised value and the purchase price. Interest rates. Uh, our customers have the possibility to choose between fixed rates and variable rates uh, indexed to your six, six months. Um, if the, 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 the choice uh, drops on the, on the fixed rate, um, uh, there is the possibility to choose a, a, a fixed rate for the entire term of the mortgage or for a shorter period. Uh, if if the, the choice drops on this, this second option, um, uh, the, 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 the rate applied to the mortgage will be fixed for that period and uh, when it comes to an end, it automatically it will switch to variable rate indexed to Euribor six months. Both your, uh, 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 fixed rate and variable rate uh, are uh, just a one component of the nominal rate because uh, it will be that added a uh, commercial spread uh, to that uh, uh, index. As you can see, there are uh, many maturities to uh, fixed rates uh, plus a negotiable spread. But, uh, and this is something I have to highlight, we have an ongoing campaign um, uh, that uh, uh, allows the, the, our customers to choose fixed rates without the additional spread, which is a, a very nice plus on the, on the, uh, the, the result of the monthly installment. Uh, but uh, I have to clarify that this campaign is only applicable uh, for to mortgages approved approved until the end of January 2024, and the deed must be signed until the end of February 19, uh, 2024. So we don't have much time to to um, to have this opportunity. Customers can choose uh, between uh, variable rates and fixed rate, um, and uh, the commercial spread. Of this case is uh, slightly higher than the, the one applied to uh, permanent housing uh, models. Other real estate investment that's not is not so usual for this uh, kind of um, audience, <coughs> but uh, anyway, we have this this uh, proposition um, to 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 buy commercial properties stores, offices, clinics, clinics, and many other uh, sorts of premises, including, including industrial premises. Um, in this case, um, the maximum amount uh, uh, on, on, on a mortgage loan will be 75% of the appraised value, uh, with a maximum of 80% of the investment, just like the buy to rent uh, solution. But the maximum term here, in this case, is 20 years. Once again, the limit, uh, uh, it will be 75 years old of the listed applicant. Now, getting to some details uh, about uh, the, 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 the way uh, banks in Portugal do mortgage. Um, in this case, I will... Uh, speak about uh, how to uh, uh, reduce a little bit the, the nominal rate, final nominal rate. Um, it's not uh, nothing new, it's nothing new, uh, it's a it's, uh, uh, normal procedure everywhere. Um, depending on the, uh, the loan to value ratio, the financial capacity um, that uh, uh, customers must demonstrate with their uh, income tax uh, or other documents and the existing liabilities, this will generate a score. And also, uh, depending on the, the commercial uh, relationship with, with Kasha, existing or the commitment to subscribe to new products, this will determine the final rate, the final spread applied added to the uh, fixed or variable uh, events. So, um, 
if the the the, the customer um, agrees to uh, to um, subscribe the pack of vinculação, something like uh, binding pack, um, which includes debit and credit cards um, that must be used every trimester at least once, uh, cash of bank accounts and uh, regular bank transfers. Uh, to to residents in Portugal, uh, this third aspect is uh, the domiciliation of the salary on the the, the bank the bank account. Uh, we know that's not possible for uh, people from abroad, so uh, the, we we switch to a, a, a formal commitment, let's say like that, to make transfers regularly on a monthly basis that uh, substitute the, the salary that cannot be domiciled. So this is one, uh, uh, one way of reducing a little bit the, 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 the commercial spread applied to the infrastructure. Another one, uh, it has to do with insurances. So Portuguese law uh, requires that all properties uh, are covered by an insurance policy that at least covers the reconstruction, uh, the, the supposed reconstruction cost. And CGD also requires that all applicants to uh, take out a uh, life insurance policy. It's, um, let's say it's another collateral. In both cases, um, customers are free to choose uh, wherever insurance company they want to take out these policies with. But uh, if they agree to uh, subscribe the, the, these insurance policies with Companhia de Seguros Fidelidade, which is to belong to CGD, nowadays it doesn't. Uh, nowadays it, we still have that connection with them, but uh, 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 cash is sold its participation. But uh, if you choose to uh, subscribe those insurance policies, there is another way to reduce, reduce a little more the, the interest rates. Cost of, uh, of acquisition of a property in Portugal. First of all, with, with, with us, with the bank. Um, for start, uh, we have the, the mortgage valuation fee. It's like the, the uh, the study of the, the, the application, it's uh, a fee uh, uh, regarding the, the study of the application. Then the uh, property evaluation commission, the, the appraisal of the, of the property. And uh, finally the contract formalization commission at the end of the process. More, uh, mortgage costs, another mortgage cost, uh, not to raise fees. Uh, the, nowadays there, is, uh, there are three ways of uh, formalizing this uh, sort of contract in Portugal, either with a notary, with a uh, public official, or uh, what you call DPA, uh, which is one sort of um, private contracting. Um, so um, these are costs that, that uh, uh, must be considered. And finally, no one likes it, but no one can avoid it. At least they, they shouldn't. Taxes. Uh, we have mortgage stamp duty, acquisition stamp duty, and the, the tax due to the municipality where the property is. So these are the main costs you have uh, with the whole process of buying a property in Portugal with a mortgage. Of course, uh, if you um, require a service of a broker or something, you will have additional costs, but um, you, if you can do without it, uh, those are the costs you, you must uh, consider. Energy efficient houses. Uh, as my colleague Pedro uh, mentioned before, um, Caixa um, uh, it's a very old institution, uh, more than uh, 140 years old. And uh, throughout its, its history, um, it's always had um, uh, some concerns, some Concerning about social responsibility, about uh, sustainability, about energy efficiency, which is uh, an issue um, um, very present every day. So, um, in this context, to encourage pro uh, um, 
property buyers to search for more in energy efficient uh, properties. CGD exempts uh, the contract formalization fee if the property uh, at stake uh, is classified as A plus, A or B on the performing scale of the, the energy efficiency. This is obviously a, a, just a small incentive, but the real advantage is, is to have a property that is really efficient. Uh, uh, energy speaking. Finally, about the uh, just uh, two or three words about uh, our representative office here in London. Um, Kasha has uh, many uh, many uh, representations abroad, as Pedro uh, mentioned, but uh, uh, specifically about uh, uh, the the representative office here in the UK. We are based in London, um, um, at the city, uh, very, very close of the London Bridge. And uh, um, what can you do, uh, uh, how can we do of use for you? It's important to clarify that representative offices uh, are not um, full banking service spots. Uh, they have limitations um, to, to its activities. But it's not prevent uh, us to uh, have an important contribution for the success of these uh, sort of operations, um, assuring the liaison between the customers abroad, in this case in the UK, and their own branches in Portugal. Uh, in fact, um, when it comes to uh, opening an account or requesting cards or uh, subscri subscription of uh, online services, and of course, submitting a, a mortgage loan application. All of these tasks uh, we can uh, can be carried out here in London through our London office. Um, our role is to gather uh, all the, the, the documentation required, have all forms uh, duly completed and signed, and once we have the whole file complete, uh, it will be sent to Portugal to the branch of your choice usually the one nearest to the, the property you intend to buy, uh, or uh, in some cases uh, to the branch uh, with which the broker that you are using uh, maintains closer contact. That, that uh, happens a lot as well. Then the, the, the file reaches the branch in, in Portugal, and our, our, our colleagues uh, will take from, from there. And, um, if the, the, the whole process will run smoothly as it should and as it, it, it usually does, um, you, don't have to go, uh, you don't have to go to Portugal to do anything. You just have to travel to Portugal once you, you, you have to sign the deal. Otherwise, you can do almost everything uh, through our London office. Most of our clients um, who choose the CGD as their bank in Portugal uh, They, they value greatly uh, the online services, which, which uh, make them quite autonomous. Um, however, at some point, uh, there is an issue or, or, or the other. Um, for instance, the, they can have their online access blocked, or they could lose their credit card or something. And uh, for that matters, we are uh, at your service and uh, we can deal with, with these uh, sort of issues. Well, uh, basically it was this. Um, um, this is the purpose of CGD presence here in, in the UK, in London specifically, and our team uh, uh, will be very happy to, to uh, have you soon, to welcome you soon uh, at our presence. Thank you so much.